Hello, uh, my name is David Schindel. I'm the principal investigator of the Barcode of Wildlife Project. It's funded by Google's Global Impact Awards, and we're here at BECA, Bioscience for uh, East and Central Africa, at the Institute for Livestock Research in, uh, Institute at, um, in Nairobi, and we brought uh, a group of trainers and 20 scientists from Kenya together for a week of training. And the goal this week is to it add some skills to a, a really exceptional group already. These 20 people are the leaders in the laboratory processing of molecular biological samples in four different institutes at the National Museums of Kenya, the Kenya Wildlife Institute, the International Center for Insect Plant Physiology and, uh, Environment, uh, and Ecology. So they're already producing a lot of important molecular biology data. This week they're going to be focusing on DNA barcoding. And this is highly standardized, high quality data that the police and prosecutors are going to use to investigate wildlife crime, poaching and trafficking of endangered species. So the evidence that they bring into court has to be very, very high quality. So this week we're uh, working on the informatics, the, the data management that they'll be using, and the lab procedures they'll be using to get DNA sequences from plants and animals. Uh, this is an exceptionally good lab at, at ILRI. They've been very kind at opening the labs to us. Their role is capacity building, and this project, in addition to helping the police and prosecutors in Kenya catch criminals who are uh, poaching your, your valuable species, we're also going to be raising the ability of Kenyan laboratories to work on a global scale. And Kenya is going to be one of the global leaders in the fight against wildlife crime using the latest biotechnology that you see around us all, uh, all around us here. And the people who are getting this training are going to become the leaders of uh, East Africa, maybe all of Africa, in using this biotechnology uh, to fight wildlife crime. They've been selected because they already know how to do DNA research in the laboratory. What they're getting now is refinement of these skills to produce this very special kind of data. The DNA barcode is a section of the genome that evolves at just the right rate to tell one species from another. The way the universal product code, the barcode you, you see in supermarkets, tells products apart, this little stretch of DNA tells species apart. So there's a group next door working on plants, there's a group in this room working on animals, and by the end of the week uh, they will be the experts that will lead the project forward in Kenya.